the within warrant, I have notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Waverly by posting and testing copies of the same at the town hall, town office building, post office, and S.Y. Dickinson Library and sit down 14 days at least before the date of the meeting as was directed. Edwin M. Zinevsky, Constable of Waverly, it was posted on November 16, 2016. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, a sum of $5,400 to pay the unanticipated school transportation expenses of a student without a permanent residence temporarily residing in the town. Second. Second. Article 1 has been moved and seconded. Questions, comments? Seeing no hands. Yes. Is this person in one of the programs that Franklin County Tech covers? Or is he in one of the programs that is not offered by Franklin County Tech? Um, they are not in Franklin County Tech. Understand, but Waitley, any child can go to Smith and will pay Smith transportation if they're not in a program that Franklin County Tech offers. Okay. I do, I do not. Oh. I'm not a resident. I, do I need to recognize? You are recognized. Please feel free to speak. I'm Patty Cavanaugh. I'm the business manager for the school districts. Um, when someone is homeless under the McKinney Vinto Act, they have the right to attend the school that they were attending when they became homeless. So it doesn't matter. Franklin Tech has a um, the same program. This person has become homeless in another town that is paying the tuition to Smith. Therefore, they have the right to attend Smith until they find permanent residence. Thank you, Terry. Other questions or issues? In that case, we'll proceed to a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your blue cards. Those opposed, the ayes have it. Wish this passed. Okay, Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds free cash the sum of $10 to be added to account 001-141-5400 assessor's expenses to pay, to pay unpaid bills owed to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Franklin County registry deeds of a prior fiscal year. So. Questions, issues? <laughs> oh, I'm glad everybody else is laughing about that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out why none of it ever gets into the moderator's expense fund. <laughs> you got that on? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could change for points. <clears throat> All those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion is carried. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, move the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, a sum of $40,000 to pay for the engineering and design costs. To connect, to connect the Waitley Water Department's water distribution system to the Waitley Water District's water distribution system. Second. Motion is made and seconded. <coughs> Questions, issues for the group? Some of them. Seeing no hands, we will proceed to a vote. Those in favor? Those opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to postpone indefinitely Article 4 because the funds are no longer needed to complete the project. Second. 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 Issues, questions? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is repurposing the previously allocated funds. <coughs> Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the Frontier Regional and Union School District to use the remaining $6,109.17 of the $10,070 which was originally appropriated under Article 18 of the 2004 Annual Town Meeting for the purpose of replacing the roof of the former East Whaley Elementary School to instead use the remaining funds for relocating the central office to the Frontier Regional Middle slash High School. Second. Questions? Discussion? All those in favor? Those opposed? <coughs> yes, <sir. coughs> 
No, sorry. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to use $2,500 of the $3,530 remaining in account number 001-610-5830, article number 14, fiscal year 17, <coughs> annual town meeting repairs to library roof for the purpose of making repairs to the kitchen in the S. White Dickinson Library. <coughs> Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $5,035 from account number 610-450-5810 Water Department Cleaning and Waterproofing Storage Tank to be added to account number 610-450-5400 Water Department Operations to pay for expenses related to manganese management. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? <laughs> Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from the Water Department Enterprise Fund retained earnings the sum of $25,000 to be added to account number 610-450-5830, Water Department Manganese Management, to pay for expenses related to manganese management. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Yes. Why don't the account numbers line up? That's a different account number, and they're both from Manganese Management. <coughs> one, the first article puts it into our operating budget, and the second one puts it in <coughs> to just a different account so we can track it easier. Oh, so it's not an additional twenty-five thousand. Yes. No. What the? Oh, well, this five thousand is moving from one Into place to another, yeah. And then twenty-five thousand is moving one place to another, and they're both about manganese, but they don't both go into a manganese account. But it sounds like the first one, because we have to pay some of the engineering costs for it already, and we took it out of our operating budget. That's why the first one's going to replace oh, okay. that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. All right. Thank you. Okay. Any, any other questions or discussion? All those in favor? Any those opposed? Yeah, <coughs> Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $804,925.53 from account 259-001-3560, sale of land received available for appropriation to pay off the USDA Rural Housing Service Loan Town Office building project loan at 97 2. Second. This must be the moderator thing I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Issues, discussion? Could someone please explain what's involved here? Gentlemen? Brian? <laughs> <laughs> this is quite the hook. What's explained as in, in what sense? What's going on? What's going on? How so, so, why, why are we doing this? So, so this would pay off the the loan for uh, the town office building. And the money is coming from. The money is coming from. <laughs> the money is coming from from the sale of the cell tower easement. We originally thought that 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 it would, which is 1.2 million dollars. We originally thought that could go into free cash, but that wasn't the case. Uh, when a town, or when a municipality sells an asset like land, um, the revenue is put into a what's called an account reserved for appropriation. It's restricted for certain purposes uh, by statute. So that's where the fu that's where the funds would be coming from. So it's the it's the money that the it's the it's the revenue from the sale of the South Tower easement. Part of the revenue. Some part of, the of it. Part, part of, of the revenue. Yeah. And that's in hand. Yes. Thank you. But it's a one shot deal. We can only sell. We can only. Sell. <laughs> yeah. There's no more cell towers. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll back it's a sold tower. tower. Yes. Sir. I understand this affects revenue that we have been getting annually uh, for the South Tower lease or something like that. 
still describe what that consequence is? The cell tower lease was $50,000 a year. Uh, the operator and owner of the cell tower came to us and, and wanted to pay a lump sum. Um, the town felt that it was in the best interest of the town to take that lump sum offer. Uh, with technology being the way it is, you never know whether that cell tower, tower might be obsolete in five years. You, it might be, but it might not be. So there was a chance that we would, would have been out 50000 anyway. So we took the money. We had good purposes and, and uses for the money, and we thought it was in the best fiscal interest of the town. So what's the consequence of no longer getting $50,000 a year? Less $50,000 a year to the general operating budget, but the upside is we don't pay any debt service on the purchase of this, of this uh, building beyond what we've already paid in the first year. So we're losing $50,000 to the general operating budget, but we're also saving money in terms of annual, <coughs> annual costs for the purchase of the building. Yeah, and I might just add to that that the other upside is is that if this paying off the building frees us from the restrictions that go with the USDA loan. So now we could, for instance, rent this property the way, well, however we wanted to, we're not restricted. We were previously restricted to renting it to a public uh, agency or nonprofit, and now we can rent it to anybody we want. But what's uh, roughly the amount that we paid in the first year uh, on a mortgage? For the debt service? For the debt service. No, oh, $60,470, I think. Yeah, so not quite the same, but uh, uh, not all that different from the 50000 Other question or discussion? And the other 400000 Oh, there's a 1.2 million first minus. Still in the account. Yeah. Yeah. Still in the account. Yeah. Still in the account. And it will need um, a vote of future town meetings to, to use for the town to use that money. The next hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, All those in favor? Those opposed? Motion carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $64,000 from account 259-001-3560, sale of land received available for a portion appropriation to pay for a portion of the cost to purchase a secure storage vault for the town office building. Second. Second. Discussion? Those in favor? Opposed? Mr. Moderator, before I read the next article, I move the town vote to waive the reading of the text of the Waitley Affordable Housing Trust that follows the article. Um, Second. Second. Any discussion on the move to waive the full reading of Article 11? Saving your patience. All right. Those in favor? <laughs> Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to accept the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 55C, and establish a trust known as the Wheatley Affordable Housing Trust Fund, whose purpose shall be to provide for the preservation and creation of affordable housing in the town of Wheatley for the benefit of low and moderate income households, and further to amend the general bylaws of the town by inserting a new Chapter 2A to be entitled Wheatley Affordable Housing Trust fund as follows, and I won't read the as follows, based upon the wisdom of this group in the last vote. However, <laughs> if you wish, you could have a very brief presentation on the topic from the committee chair. Make sure everyone is fully focusing on what's going on. No one, no one is a very well informed fellow. Are we asking a chair, or are we deciding whether we want the chair to speak? I'm asking the group if they think it would be appropriate in lieu of the meeting. How many to... minutes would they take? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear a brief back. <coughs> very brief, if possible. Very brief. Concise. Informative. <clears throat> well, when I was a young child, <laughs> um, as I'm sure everybody here knows, uh, the town voted in 2008. Richard, would you identify yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm Richard Tilbert, chair, chair of the Housing Committee, and there are other committees here, uh, <coughs> members here in the audience. Jim is here, Cockendall, and, um, and of course, Fred is here. Uh, so in 2008, the town voted in uh, CPA. 10% of CPA monies by state law have to be dedicated to the affordable, for the provision of affordable housing. About four years later, in 2012, the um, CPC, the Community Preservation Commission, asked select board to set up a housing committee to advise the CPC and the select board on how to spend these monies. Uh, we've been spending the last four years for on a, a variety of activities, and I'll go with them briefly. The money we're talking about is not a great deal. We're about 15,000 a year. Since 2008, there's about $101,000 in the housing bucket. What the committee did for the first year and a half of its existence is try to figure out how best to expend these monies. And we came to the conclusion that the appropriate way would be to actually secure property and then sell it to a um, housing developer who would then develop that piece of property. We spent a year and a half, and I'm sure everyone here remembers the various times we came to town meeting, asking for $5,000 to get, uh, get an appraisal and then going back and actually doing the negotiation in public because, of course, the appraisal was a part of an offer. Um, we had to bounce between the CPC agenda and the town meeting agenda. And to make a long story short, anyone here who's purchased housing knows that time is of the essence. And the sale, we never even were able to make a bona fide offer, much less actually have the owner uh, take a look at the offer. So what the Housing Committee has spoken of and talked about, and we've been working with uh, Town Council uh, the Select Board for about the last year, is to get a housing trust which allows the town to make timely decisions through the housing trust and to actually be able to make offers in a timely way. That's, that's the advantage of a housing trust. The trust can act to make an offer. It can act to do activities that are beneficial for the residents of the town. And the idea, of course, of housing is to provide housing for the residents of, of, of the town to the extent that that's permissible under state law. The protections that the town has are many. We, you have informal protections in that the five-person board has one member of the select board and one member of the CPC. So even as the, the housing board is talking about what kinds of things should be happening, those two individuals are giving their, their, their uh, input, their advice. The, the uh, housing trust cannot act uh, on any project that exceeds $5,000 or any series of uh, projects that exceed $10,000 per year without a vote of the select board. So that's your second stopgap. The, the elected body, the select board, has to agree to make any kind of activity happen. What the Housing Committee wanted is it wanted to, to, to incorporate the idea of the town making decisions with the ability to make timely decisions that could actually act in the real estate in, uh, state environment. So the select board meets, meets uh, every two weeks. Decisions can be much more timely than they have in the past. Um, if Fred or Jim have any other comments? No. And so obviously our recommendation would be that uh, town meeting uh, uh, approve, approve the housing council. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for discussion? Yeah. Richard, the last time I heard this explained, uh, we talked about, say, in a scenario of buying a lot for $100,000, right. that a developer comes along, like, unless I misunderstood it, it was said that it was possible to give that piece of land to the developer so he could develop it. Isn't that is that kind of a scenario, or are we talking yeah. about selling well, it? Well, uh, the question is, do you give the land or sell the land? And the answer is, it's, it, it depends on the transaction. Um, you don't need to give anything to anybody. It, this is public money. This is your money and my money. And so what the 
housing trust would do is it would simply say, we have a piece of property worth X. We want you to construct a house that is affordable to some number of people. And then you work backwards <coughs> and you say, how much is construction, how much is financing, how much is all the costs of the developer? And it's going to be either a nonprofit or a for-profit developer. So that entity is going to need some additional cash, either if it's profit, profit, if it's nonprofit, salaries. Whatever is left over is the land residual value, is the value of the land that the developer can afford to spend to produce a house that is restricted by income. Again, let's say it's 100,000. You do the analysis and 20,000 pops up. That's what the developer can pay. That's what the housing trust would negotiate and say, this land to you is worth $20,000. Let's say now, instead of one house, you're able to do two houses <coughs> and the planning commission likes it and everybody likes it. Well, then maybe the same piece of land might be worth 35,000 to you because now you have two pieces of property to sell. So it's kind of a misnomer to say, well, we have to give land away. You dispose of land at a value. The value may be a dollar, the, the value may be a hundred, well, it's not going to be a hundred thousand, but the value may be higher than that. Does that, does that sort of answer the question? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Other questions or issues? Yeah. Yes, sir. You yes, considered um, getting, talking to Franklin County Tech to have them build something on a property. <laughs> Yes, we did, and, and we did actually ask them. They tend not to do that, um, but obviously that was last year. That was, uh, Jim, was that like two years, three, two this, years ago? This year they're more interested. We don't know, but we are certainly, we? yeah. Oh, oh, they are? Yes. And, and your name is? <laughs> no, that, that, would be, that would be absolutely wonderful. I mean, once, the problem we had before, and I don't want to take a lot of time, we had, you know, if you do this, then maybe we might do that, if you're able to do this. And this. And so we didn't really have land so that we could talk to Franklin Tech and say, hey, we have a piece of property, we want to have it done next Thursday at 3 o'clock, what can you do? It was, if something wonderful happens, and so we couldn't get anyone's attention particularly. Well, there's no new superintendent and you can get his attention. Uh, that, um, I'm sure we'll, mm -hmm. and I'm on the building subcommittee there. So even better. <laughs> Okay. Other issues or questions? Thank you, Richard, very much. We will now receive you a vote. All those in favor? Opposed? I'm, I'm in favor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moderator, move the town vote pursuant to General Law Chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer the sum of $100,000 from the Community Preservation <coughs> Fund Community Housing Reserves to the Whitley Affordable Housing Trust Fund. And if and as established by Article 11 of the town meeting of December 1st, 2016, aid transfer to be subject and contingent upon the execution of a grant agreement between the town of Whitley and the Whitley Affordable Housing Trust. Sir. Discussion. If I understand it's basically what you're doing with seeding for funding. Yeah. That was quick. All those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Moderator, we move the town vote pursuant to general law chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer from the Community Preservation Fund Historic Reserves Resources Reserves the sum of $15,000 and from the Community Preservation Fund budgeted reserves, the sum of $49,000 for a total of $64,000 to pay for a portion of the cost to purchase a secure storage vault for a town office building. Second. Second. Discussion? Did we already vote on this? Yeah, vote it half of it. Expensive vault. It's a big vault. <laughs> you save ball. money on an extra Yeah. All those in favor? <laughs> Opposed? <Yeah, yeah. clears throat> Mr. Moderator, move the town vote pursuant to the general law, Chapter 44B, to appropriate and transfer from the Community Preservation Fund Open Space Reserves the sum of $6,500 to pay the town match portion 
for a joint purchase of an agricultural preservation restriction on 6.75 acres on Christian Lane, Assessor's Parcel ID 20-0-31, owned by Caroline C. Pam and Timothy N. Wilcox. Second. Discussion? Those in favor? Opposed? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the select board to sell, donate, or otherwise dispose of the 1975 International Fire Truck as surplus property. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the select board to sell, donate, or otherwise dispose of the 2001 SAFE trailer as surplus property. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Right. Moderator, I move to adjourn. Motion has been made to adjourn. Second. <laughs> See you all later. Thank you. Have a great holiday season. That was quick.